city, in any country, go to the nearest farm. Not a vegetable farm. We're not talking livestock. We're talking about live stock. Before you go, eat 17 boxes of Fiber One cereal. Uh, apparently at Target, it's a dollar off if you're poor. You probably are. Once you eat 17 boxes of Fiber One and go to the nearest farm, which can't just be a vegetable farm, be sure to look in the mud of the pig sty. There will probably be pigs in the sty, but the good news is you just ate the 17 boxes of Fiber One. Fart up a storm so smelly that even pigs can't tolerate it. And, and, and by pigs, I don't mean like some of you don't like, I mean an actual pig, like pigs actually together in a group. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to be able to dig into the dirty, muddy substance. And if you keep digging, the first thing you got to do is yell, free chocolate, which unfortunately the pigs will misinterpret as a sweet call. Now, <clears throat> something I suggest if you ever find yourself too upset about your lot in life is heading to a farm, finding a pig or two or three, and smashing their heads in with a massive boulder. Uh, additionally, as you smack the pigs in the cranium with the gargantuan rock, you can sing... You hit the pig in the head with an old dust mop. You scramble his brains on the floor. Now, of course, as they begin dying, they'll lose awareness of the melody, but uh, that's a consequence that you need to be willing to accept. Now, before you perform this ritual, you do need to use a massive rock. You can't use a VHS tape or, uh, uh, I, I don't know, uh, uh, a photo of Oprah Winfrey or whatever. I, I don't... Uh, you know, whatever. Well, whatever floats your boat. Uh, uh, a Nelson Mandela drink coaster. Uh, you know, a picture of your wife. Just kidding, you don't have a wife. Anyway, remember, so you ate the 17 boxes of Fiber One. You went to a local farm, can't be a vegetable farm. You farted up a storm. You made the pigs stop. And then you smashed their heads in with a boulder. Now, what you have to do is take all of the pig's brain matter and put it together into something that resembles a hamburger. It is going to be dirty, but keep in mind, if you get a burger from McDonald's, those burgers are always dirty. So what the fuck? And if they aren't physically dirty, they at least are ethically. I mean, you know, they don't exactly practice good, uh, you know, ethical standards for slaughtering pigs. You know, even if you grass, you know, raise a pig or a cow, like even if you feed them organically, you're still like killing them. You, you expect sympathy or empathy because, you know, we treat our animals well before we take a fucking axe. You know, we could at least use a boulder. Okay. What the fuck was I talking about? Oh, yeah, yeah. So so you slaughtered a bunch of pigs with a rock. Um, so now you actually can dig deeply into the mud. Um you can use a screwdriver as a shovel, but you can't use like an actual traditional shovel. If you do that, then uh, uh, a bunch of maggots will come out of your eye sockets and they will do the Macarena and they won't even do it well. In fact, they don't even know the difference between the Macarena and the La Bamba because they're, uh, they're uneducated maggots. As a lot of maggots tend to be uh, maggots don't go to school. So if you keep digging, some people say that you'll end up in China if you keep digging into the ground from the Western world, but you won't end up in China. What you will find about 3.14159 uh, meters into the ground is a Peppa Pig VHS tape. Now, at first, you might feel a little guilty about taking the Peppa Pig VHS tape because, you know, you just killed a bunch of fucking pigs in real life. It isn't like watching a kid's cartoon should make you feel better, and if it does, you're friggin' uh, psychopath, psychosis, psychotic bitch, bastard. You don't want to be that, do you? Hope not. I mean, you know, I'd like to think you're better than that. Now, obviously, the farmer's going to be really, really pissed off, and you don't have a shovel, so you can't just, like, hit the farmer in the head with the shovel. You can try prying his eyeballs out with the screwdriver, but he's actually a robot, he was a robot built by the pigs. You see, the fact of the matter is the pigs were actually super intelligent. Um, they had an IQ of 300, even higher than the IQ of Dr. Robotnik from the Sonic the Hedgehog cartoons. Look it up. 
Uh, so what you need to do is you need to grab those pig brains that I talked about and you need to keep molding them as if they're Play-Doh. Now, the brain matter isn't going to like magically mold into like a molten hot hamburger that somehow you can touch, you know, moltar. But, but, but what you can do is you can shove it down the farmer's throat. He's, again, a robot, not even a cyborg or an android. He's just a robot, which means like he's fully mechanical and electric. He's not, you know human at all so he's not going to choke but what it is going to do it is going to tangle up with his circuits the circuits are going to fry up so what you can do at that point is after that you can stick your hand your entire arm down his uh, mouth so to speak his mechanical mouth obviously it's not fleshy i mean if that's your thing then then you do you but that's not what this is about and then what you do is you pull the brain matter back out you smear it all over the vhs tape and then you have one more organic part of the ritual that you must perform by organic, I mean body parts. You need to go back to the pig carcasses and you need to take their intestines. Now, you might object to that. Well, A, first of all, you just fucked around with a bunch of pig brains. So who the hell are you to judge? But B, in addition to that, if you eat sausage at all, uh, th those are made out of pig intestines. I, I bet you didn't know that. You did? Well, well, fuck you. So take the intestines and you need to kind of open them up. You can use your teeth if you want to. Um, you can use the rock as well to splatter it out, but you have to be careful because if it gets all into the mud or on the ground or even goes flying to the grass outside of the sty, then um, a massive earthworm um, that's about 30 feet high will rise up out of the ground and go, you killed my maggot buddies maggot that makes you a uh, you know the word that means cigarette in, in britain and the earthworm will eat you alive and you will come out as a giant piece of shit out of an earthworm's asshole and even if earthworms don't have assholes that one does and it, it's a very large one and, and he eats a lot of fiber ones so you, you you have no chance of escaping his his intestines because he'll he'll shit you right out because you'll you know he'll just he'll just do that before you have any time to escape his digestive system because his digestion seriously fiber one unsweetened vanilla cashew milk like at your local you know department store really tasty stuff and it really helps with your digestive system anyway that's not why you're here so i'm going to you know, I'm going to tell you why you're here. So after you've done that, you can smear the intestinal matter all over the VHS tape. And now that the farmer's dead, the farmer doesn't have a wife or a daughter or anything like that, or a husband for that matter. You know, again, that's his personal business. Um, so you can just go right in and find his bedroom. And he's got a bunch of skirts lying around. Put on a skirt. And then take the VHS. You don't have to put on a skirt. That's not really part of the ritual. But, yeah, I mean, you can if you want to. Again, you know, that's up to you. Whatever. And just put it uh, into uh, the VCR. A pink skirt would probably do the best, given this is a Peppa Pig ritual. Now, instead of watching a secret lost episode of Peppa Pig, what's going to happen instead is that a pig earthworm hybrid is going to come out of the TV. And although the TV is not a CRT TV, and I don't mean critical race theory, I mean one of those old cathode ray tube TVs, it's going to appear like one to you. And then the earthworm is going to lecture you about how the way the world looks to all of us is it's the image of the retina turned upside down and the world actually doesn't look the way it does it's the way we evolved to make the world seem to look upside down which uh, kind of flies in the face of the idea that we were made in the creator's own image when we have to do that in order to see the world normally now at that point when he says that and he will say the, the thing i just said about the creator just tell him fuck you you're an earthworm who are you to be a theologian or a philosopher you're just a fucking earthworm go go eat shit what the earthworm will do is he will growl really loud, so loud that you'll be surprised that you can hear it and not just dogs, and, and or earthworms for that matter, and he will jump out the window. The glass shards will kill him. Now, you need to go back downstairs, get a glass shard, and then chew on it. Yes, this will cost you your teeth and your gums, and, you know, I don't mean Bazooka Joe, but, but the gums by your teeth are going to be bloody friggin' messes and chunks of just gummy teeth enamel bullshit and that is what you're sacrificing or to perform this ritual spit out one of your teeth and then just like rub it down if you have the screwdriver you can rub the screwdriver over the tooth and uh, i don't know that that's going to have much efficacy but you can do it if you want to just mash it into like a, a white paste as if it's cocaine powder and don't actually snort cocaine because i care about you and i don't want bad stuff to happen to you okay 
I mean, I mean, this stuff, fine, but cocaine, just, just stay off drugs. Drug, drugs are bad. They're really not good for you. I know, I know life might feel like a real drag sometimes. And when you wear that skirt, you might even feel like a drag queen. But the fact of the matter is, you know, things do get better. You, and, and, and if you are, you know, if, if you, if you want to, you know, uh, kill a farmer's pigs and I don't recommend you do that because you could go to jail and also that's unethical. So uh, again, I mean, only do this if, um, if you have the approval of the farmer and the farmer happens to be a robot. So like everything I said so far, just make sure that you do have the consent of the farmer who is a robot. And then, then I, I think this ritual would be a little bit, uh, you know, it'll, it'll be a little bit uh, more acceptable. So there is one other thing you have to do after you rubbed your tooth all over it. You need to mail the VHS tape to someone. You need to mail the VHS tape to Willard M. Romney, otherwise known as Mitt Romney. You need to tell him that it isn't too late to impeach Donald Trump for a third time. So once you put that in the envelope, and by the way, you do need, there is one other thing that, shit, I forgot to say, crap. Uh, one other thing you do need to do is spit another tooth into the envelope because apparently that's a Mormon ritual. It doesn't really have much to do with this Peppa Pig ritual, but it is a Mormon thing to spit teeth into envelopes and mail them along with VHS tapes. And wait about mm, three and a half, four weeks, uh, you know, go back to playing Nintendo or, uh, you know, hacky sack or whatever you do in your spare time, you know, playing your Nokia Engage. I don't know what the fuck you do. You think I know you personally? I don't know what the fuck you do. That, that's you. That's your life. And that's fine. Okay. So just wait, and then you know, you'll suddenly hear a knock on the door, and it'll be a police officer, and you're going to go to jail because the law moves slowly, and it's your fucking fault. Why the hell would you do the things that I just told you to do? What the fuck is wrong with you? Yeah, that's fucking weird, bro. Why?